everyone! Today we're going to show you how to use a DS Slicer. The DS Slicer is Frozen's original software, specifically designed for the dental industry. The software comes with an intuitive user interface, which allows operating the device a fast and easy process. We'll introduce you the home page, how to import files, how to use all the toolbar, and how to slice the models. We'll also introduce you the three major features of DS Slicer. Mouse scan modeling, automatic support creation, and multi-para slicer. These three functions will make the printing process easier, faster, and more convenient. Wanna know more about them? Let's get started. First, we're going to introduce the home page. After opening your DS Slicer, please select the resin and machine you're going to use. Here, we're using the Sonic XL 4K 2022 and washable dental model resin as an example. Next, you will enter the home page. Here, you can see the menu, toolbar, file name, and resin volume. You can see the model's information on the right side. If you want to change the printer or resin you are using, please click on the gear icon to enter the settings. Use export to choose the type of file you're going to print and choose print to adjust the layer height and printing setup. The file list will display the printing model. DS Slicer also supports common shortcuts such as Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and Ctrl A. To delete the model, simply click on the trash icon. Now, we're going to show you how to import files. In addition for importing model files, you can now add the intraoral scanning file through V3.0 DS Slicer. No need to switch to another dental software. Perfect for importing easier and faster printing. Select Open and choose the files you want to import. For intraoral scanning files, please select Build Base to convert the scan file into a printable file. Choose Import and select the file you want to import. After rotating the model to the suitable angle, click Next. You can adjust the height to cut the unwanted part in the lower half or use the brush to remove them. If you need to modify the angle, click back at any time to readjust. Next, we're going to establish the base height. Click OK after it's completed. After importing the model, we can use DS Slicer to add the model and set supports. Use Move to adjust the model position. Put on the plate to snap the selected model into the building plate. And Center to place the model in the center of the building plate. Use Size to adjust the model size. Use Orientation to rotate the model angle and click Select Base Plate to align the selected surface into the building plate. Use Plane Cut to remove the excess part on the bottom of the model and click Keep Both if you want to keep the excess part. You can use the Add Support bar to add support anchor points on the model. After adjusting the position, click Merge to process. You can enter text, then choose outward or inward to turn the text concave or convex. Confirm the position, then click Merge. The hollow function will turn solid models into hollow models with a thin shell. You have two printing options. Choose Normal for hollow models with a solid base or Through for models with an open base. When using the normal option, please use vent to create holes on the models. These holes will allow the leftover resin to drain out while printing and avoid cracks on the 3D model. When adding supports to the model, 
you can select the required model type. The slicer will automatically apply supports with the appropriate strength and density onto the model. The holes in the surgical guide version can be detected and perfectly avoided. If you need to print a large quantity of the same model, simply use the copy function. You can adjust the gap between the models according to your needs. The slicer will automatically arrange the models on the building plate. After adjusting the model, we'll now enter the slicing process. Different from other software, in DS Slicer, you can now choose between single parameter slice and multi-parameter slice. Single pair slice are general slices. The model will have the same layer height. After the model setting is completed, click the single pair slice to start slicing. With multi-pair slice, you can set two different layer height, allowing us to print the bottom of the model with a higher layer height and shorten the printing time. Click the multi-pair slice to start slicing. You can adjust the height value for each layer and drag the lever to change the boundary between the two layer height. Use the sliding bar to confirm the slicing of each layer. Make sure that the print info is correct and save the file. Check the print confirm again and then click save. After saving the file, you have now completed the steps. If you want to know how to use the network sending, you can check out the video link in the upper right. Now everyone should have a deeper understanding of how to use DS Slicer. If you want to learn how to operate Sonic XL 4K 2022, please watch our other videos. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.